Are you looking for a non-Nespresso single-serve espresso machine that's compatible not only with Nespresso capsules, but also with Nespresso compatible capsules? Well, we've got the first one for you today here on aromacup.com. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Now, as I said earlier, uh, if you are someone who's maybe looking for a single serve espresso machine that is not made by Nespresso, but you still wanna be able to use Nespresso capsules or some of the new capsules that are coming out and available that are Nespresso compatible, well, we've got an overview here today of a machine that we think is gonna answer that need for you very well. It's the Espresso Lux, and uh, the name might sound a little weird, but the machine is pretty cool and very easy to use. So let's dive in, talk about what comes in the box, then we'll go over using the machine. Let's talk about what comes in the box with the Espresso Lux single serve espresso machine. And of course, you get the machine itself, which is very compact and pretty lightweight, not gonna take up much space on your countertop. Uh, you get the machine, you have your instruction booklet, which is very simple um, because the machine, again, is pretty easy to operate. And you do get a uh, package of demo capsules so that you can try out some of the different capsules uh, that you can use with Espresso Lux. And these um, Espresso Lux capsules are actually made by Espresso Lux. So they, in this case, came with this machine. So you will get some demo ones to check out the machine and see what you think about it. Let's start at the bottom on the Espresso Lux, as we usually do with most any overview. First of all, of course, you've got the tray. That can be pulled directly out so that you can easily clean it. This is also where your spent capsules are going to end up after you have uh, brewed a shot of espresso using the machine. I will say that the Espresso Lux kind of looks, feels a little bit like the Nespresso Ascenza uh, in its kind of overall design and shape and uh, form factor. Where things are a little bit different, however, between those two machines is, of course, the fact that the other one's made by Nespresso, this one is not. But as you move up to the operation buttons, which is that on the Nespresso Ascenza, we only had one operation button. On the Espresso Lux, we have two. We have an Espresso and a Lungo button. And that's what makes the operation of the machine very simple. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So you have your two operation buttons right there on the face. Moving up, you have, of course, your brew spigot. That's pretty straightforward. That is where your shot glass, cup, etc., is going to go. And then on the top right here, you're going to have your capsule uh, insertion uh, location. This is where you're gonna put all of your pods into. This is, again, kind of like some of the earlier Nespresso machines that we've seen, uses this lever to snap down and pop that uh, capsule into place, puncture it for brewing. Finally, you're going to find on the back your water tank, which is a 1.5 liter water tank. The pressure pump that is in this machine is a 19 bar pressure pump, which goes above the suggested amount of pressure that one should have in an espresso machine, which is great. So that should mean that you're going to get a good pull of espresso from the Espresso Lux. So as you can see, the machine itself is very compact and not a whole lot of bells and whistles going on here, which really is all you need if you wanna brew a good shot of espresso. So let's talk about the operation of the machine. Operation is real easy with the Espresso Lux, so let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna take a shot glass first off. Now, something I should mention is that you can only use Espresso shot glasses with the Espresso Lux. If you take the tray out of the machine, you can't brew into larger cups because there's just simply no way. There is sort of this chunk of plastic that's gonna be in your way. You're not going to be able to brew into larger mugs. So this really is simply just for brewing espresso. So take your espresso mug, shot glass, etc. Take one of your capsules. In this case, I'm using one of the Espresso Lux capsules, uh, but we'll talk about capsules in a second here while we're brewing. Drop that, of course, into the pod receptacle, close it up, and now we're gonna choose the size we'd like to brew. I'm gonna use the espresso uh, shot size, which is right here on my right-hand side of the machine. Of course, you'll also wanna make sure that you've primed the machine previous to this by running a couple cycles with just water through it. That's gonna get it nice and hot so that you can get the absolute best brew out of your Espresso Lux. And you can see it's done already, so it's very quick, which is great. Now. 
A cool thing about this machine, as I was talking about with pods, is that Espresso Lux makes their own pods, and I've got one right here. The one I was just using uh, was actually one of these medium roasts. And you have your choice of a couple other different types, both from Espresso Lux, so you can make use of those pods, but because this machine is Espresso compatible, you could also use, let's say, some of the capsules by our friends at Highline Coffee, which are Espresso compatible uh, single serve espresso capsules, and you could use Nespresso capsules. So, if you're an Nespresso fan, but maybe you don't want to own an Nespresso machine, or you know, maybe you're just looking for a new one, something like that, you can still use those capsules in Nespresso Lux. I think that's a pretty cool feature because honestly, I haven't seen another machine that allows that. I've seen us be able to use different capsule types in Nespresso machines, but not going the other way around. Another interesting thing to note here is that people would always say to us, well, Aren't I going to void the warranty on my Nespresso single serve espresso machine if I use a compatible capsule that is not necessarily made by Nespresso? Well, this is sort of your workaround now, is just bypass that entirely, get a machine that's gonna work with all of the various different types of Nespresso compatible capsules, including the Nespresso capsules, and then you're not gonna worry about voiding your warranty because this machine is made to work with all of those capsule types. Let's talk about pricing on the Espresso Lux by Viante. Uh, you're looking at $159.99, which is not too bad. Um, some folks might see that as being a little bit on the high side, but again, I think a machine that has the compatibility of so many different capsule types, probably gonna be a good value add for you and coming at it not necessarily too high a price point at that time. And of course, where can you find out how to buy the Espresso Lux by Viante? Well, all you need to do is check out the link in the description here on this video, or visit us on aromacup.com where we can tell you how to get the best possible price for you and your new Espresso Lux. So, what's my bottom line on the Espresso Lux by Viante? Well, I think it's a very cool little machine. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space on a countertop. Very simple to use, which I think is awesome. Uh, the water tank is pretty moderately sized, so you're not going to be refilling it all the time. And it's got a high compatibility uh, level with all the different capsules that it can be used with. So therefore, I think it's a great machine to add to your own at-home coffee shop. The price is pretty nice on it as well. Uh, I'm not completely nuts about the tray, only because it's a little bit restricting. It is going to be a little bit hard to clean because it's one piece. But if the only thing I can really pick out about a machine is the tray, I don't think that we're doing too badly when you come right down to it. So there you go, guys. That is the Espresso Lux by Viante. I hope you found this useful. As always, if you have questions, comments, or you're looking for more information, get in touch with us in the comments here on this video. And of course, if you are looking to add this machine to your own at-home coffee shop, check out the link in the description of our video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, I'm Brian, coming to you from aromacup.com. I want to thank you for joining me in my virtual coffee shop. Brought to you by RomaCup.com, and I'll see you next time. Take care.